What is going on everyone, Justin here with another mall tour. So this time we are going to South Park Mall in Colonial Heights, Virginia. So if you could see out there just a second ago, all those table and chairs, that actually used to be a Spinnaker's restaurant. I think that was gone in like the mid to late 90s. Cause I know by about 98 or 99, it then became another restaurant called the Jewish Mother. And then of course it became one big shoe store. Because that's what the small needs is another shoe store. So I thought we'd start out in the food court. Um, I they renovated this in 2007, but I think it was a downgrade because they took out so many restaurants. Um, and it feels like a lot of them are honestly just clones of each other. Oh man, I remember this place used to have tons of stuff here. I remember there was a McDonald's on the right side. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Swiss Miss, Hagen dazs Great Steak Company. I know there's one on the other side, but it wasn't quite the same thing. Um, but I mean, of course, I, didn't, I never really understood why they had a McDonald's because there was one outside the mall too. Uh, probably why they got rid of the one inside the mall. Um, now what we're gonna come up here is the Chick-fil-A. And the Sino or Sino Walk, yes, the Chinese restaurant next door to it. Those are original food court tenants. They have been here since the place opened. And also where the Stir Fry 88 was, uh, that was a six screen movie theater. And of course, until they upgraded the one on the other side. What's where the Regal 16 is now? I feel like that was another entrance. I um, can't really remember. It's been a long time. Um... Actually, I saw my first movie at this mall. I, it was 101 Dalmatians back in 91. Um, so this used to be the Dillard's uh, wing here. And of course, before it was Dillard's, it was Leggett, and then it was Belk, and then Dillard's. And of course, I'm not really sure what happened to the Dillard's. I just know one day it was a Dick's Sporting Goods, and I was like, okay. My guess is maybe the Dillard's either wasn't performing, well, probably wasn't performing well because I think that's a higher end department store. And I don't think the, I don't think the area income level is enough to really maintain it. So there you go. I thought I'd walk near the movie theater entrance here. Um, yeah, I really like this movie theater. And of course I like that it's not too far away from the house. Now this here, that little store off to the right, that used to be a coffee shop. Cannot remember the name of it, um, but if someone does remember, definitely comment it down below. Uh, whenever I ask questions like this, you know, I'll always pin your comments to the top so people can see it. Let's just walk down here a little more. Um, and there's a GNC to the right, I think I should... Yep, here we go, the GNC. Uh, that, I know, has been here since it opened. Uh, I believe... Yeah, I think it moved from the Walnut Mall down here. Now, something interesting I learned about the GNC stores is... Apparently what they do... I read this in a comment section of someone else's video, is that... What GNC does is that they buy a huge lease, like 30 year lease, so their rent is much cheaper every month. So, Also, we are going to creep up, well, back where you saw the Auntie Annie's pretzel in the center in front of the movie theater, there used to be a big fountain there, and it had a jet stream that would reach all the way to the ceiling. It was pretty cool. And in front of the JC Penney's, there was another big brown fountain there, I seriously could not find any pictures of it online. Um, it just goes to show you that we really took that kind of stuff for granted. Because back then, we didn't have smartphones, we didn't have digital cameras, and we thought the stuff would be around forever. We would never have thought, oh, you know, we don't need to take a picture of this. So, and that's why I'm doing this now, in case, God forbid, the small ever closed. I hope it doesn't, but it might. It very well could, you don't know. 
The JCPenney's logo I thought was interesting because I feel like that's such an old logo. Like I, I always remember that being the same logo they've had since the place opened up. Not too much exciting stuff down here. Um, the Bath and Body Works to the left has been there. I want to say since the mid 90s, it's been there a while. Yeah, see, there you go, a store, nice shoes. God, this, like I said in another video, I feel like that was the small's biggest problem was the fact that they had way too many shoe stores. You know, put some variety in here. That's why, like, if I could have driven back then, I probably would have gone to, like, Chesterfield Town Center instead, but since it's not too far away, I don't mind coming here sometimes just to walk or get some from the food court. There's FYE, one of the better stores in here, I think. And yes, as you can see at the very end, we'll get to it a little closer. Um, that is where the Sears was. Um, so they are now closed. So that's another one that I am glad I documented before they left. Over here to the right, we're gonna creep up on it in a minute. With you as soon as we... There, this used to be a Dollar Tree. Of course, they upgraded and put a bigger one outside the mall. But this used to be a Dollar Tree right here. Um, I remember going here with my family every Saturday. Well, we went to this mall every Saturday, but I always remember my grandfather would take my sister and I in there, and we'd get something from the dollar store. That was always some pretty fun memories there. Now, I have a big question for anyone who was in this area when the small opened in 89. There, this is a Macy's, of course. Um, this was Hex before. I want to know, was there ever a Tallheimer's in the small? Because I know that a lot of the stores from the Walnut Mall moved down to this mall. And Walnut Mall had a Tallheimer's. Now... This mall opened two years before Hex bought Tallheimers. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know if there was ever a Tallheimers because we we moved down here in 91. So Tallheimers would have already been gone. And plus, I was, I was pretty young then. I have early memories of here. Like I said, 91. But I don't think I noticed a Tallheimers. We are going to creep up on it here soon. But in this corner here where you see... In the right corner where you see the the Sears, uh, there used to be a pet store there. It was called Petland. And I believe that closed up in about 98. There used to be uh, puppies in the, in the storefronts. It's actually why you don't see too many pet stores anymore. Because there was that thing with uh, selling dogs. Like It was just a big thing. You know, like, cause a lot of them came from, like, puppy mills, so a lot of stores, like, stopped carrying them, and, of course, that really hurt their business. Yeah, I remember that pet store. That was, that was fun times back then. And, of course, this, um, Planet Fitness here was the FYE, um, and, of course, FYE moved a couple doors down, and there was an arcade in there. In fact, I forgot to mention, in the food court, it used to have an arcade in there as well. I was... That was a pretty cool place back in the day. And there was a great big fountain here in the middle of the sitting area that I thought was really cool. Like, pretty much where you see all those blue tiles from there, inward was the fountain. I did go down here. There, I don't ever really remember too much being down here. Um, now, to the right wall here where there's more of the planet fitness that used to be a piccadilly cafeteria it was something else before then it was another type of cafeteria but i cannot remember the name brand and then of course piccadilly took over uh in fact piccadilly as a whole it really isn't doing well there's an abandoned one up on broad street that i would definitely like to record sometime and i probably won't be able to get inside but at least record the outside or take some pictures which, by the way, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will put links in the description where you can find some of my, you know, like if I just find like an abandoned place, that's a, like I'll take a picture and I'll just post it there. 
So yeah, this was Piccadilly and then they closed up. I remember eating there a couple times. I remember it wasn't too bad. I just think the company as a whole wasn't too bad. Oh uh, yes, so apparently there's a curfew now. I'm sure it's just some rowdy characters in there. Which, a lot of times when I talk about this small people say that it can get really rowdy in there, which I don't doubt it. But, you know, at least the small has always been pretty good as far as, like, police presence and security. I mean, yeah, there was the shooting in here um, back in, I think it was the end of December. But like I said, thankfully the guy was arrested the same night and... It just stayed between the two, so thankfully it wasn't like a massacre or something. But I read Facebook posts from like my friends saying like they were hiding out in Sears and stuff like that, so... But I mean, it seems really slow today, but I think it's just because it's a weekday. I mean, usually on Saturday there's a decent amount of people in here. So... Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, mall tour. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you the Dillard storefront. Even though the Dick's Sporting Goods is there, the Dillard storefront is still outside. So I'll put that in the back. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have the answers to any of my questions I had, please let me know down below. And I will see you guys next time.